In this video we will fine tune Mistress 7 billion instruct to become Warren Buffett. Uh, this collab is not from me, this is from this man called Virat and I found this post on Twitter that he um, used a Mistress 7 billion and one GPU and uh, in collab and then with Q Laura he do fast fine tuning and then um, use a small data set to prove the concept. And I just uh, clicked at this link from him to um, to play with it a little bit around and I thought um, I want to do a short video about it. So what is QLaura? QLaura is quantized low rank adaption. So um, we want to fine tune a model, but fine tuning is very expensive. So we freeze 99% of the model and only uh, the 1% or even less than 1% of the weights um, we train. And quantized, we don't do this with a full precision. At first, the model gets quantized to like 8-bit or 4-bit and um, then we train quantized. And this quantized training is much more faster and has a much lower memory footprint. Um, here is the call app. I will post this code um, under this video. So this code is based on auto GPTQ optimum bits and bytes. Um, of course, hugging face transformers and PEFT and hugging face datasets. I um, want to show short the library. So auto GPTQ um, here is a LLM quantization package. Optimum is an extension of the hugging face transformers library. And with Optimum, it's more easy to do um, training and inference with different backends. Then bits and bytes is also um, a package for quantization. Here, 8-bit optimizers. Um, and then hugging face PEFT is a state-of-the-art parameter efficient fine-tuning method. Yeah, and here uh, QLaura, uh, this is the paper on archive. I will put all of the libraries also under this video. So um, at first I have to connect to runtime. I bought me some um, credits here, like ten dollars for hundred credits, um, because with the default GPU it will take too much time. Okay, let's go. At first we install the libraries. Uh, seems like here was some bug with um, the Torch library, which is the default, and so we will uninstall it and install another version. Yeah, while this is installing, I can expand here already a little bit. So um, the first we do is, this is the model name in the Hugging Face model hub, the bloke. Um, this repository is famous uh, that it contains a lot of um, models which are quantized. Um, then we are loading this model. Um, we are mapping it. We, 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 we don't uh, put it on the GPU. We like let uh, our computer figuring out how to load it. Um, we are setting trust remote code to false. Often if you have some data sets, there are some um, custom like Python scripts which are running. Uh, we don't want to do that, so we're setting it on false. And we are using the main revision of the model. Um, then Every model needs a tokenizer. And uh, here we are telling Hugging Face to load the tokenizer which belong to 
this model. Then uh, we are setting the model in the train mode, uh, enable gradient checks, and uh, we are enabling quantized training. Okay, let's look. Yeah, NVIDIA is still installing, and after this, it takes even more long time. Okay, here is our LoRa config. R is the rank of the low rank adaption. So um, R equals eight means that the adaption matrices will have the rank eight. LoRa alpha is the scaling factor. Um, target modules Q underscore proj means that we are targeting the query projection weights of our um, transformers. LoRa dropout 0.05 means um, that we have a dropout rate of 0.05, so like 5% of the units in the adapted layers will be um, randomly dropped. Uh, no bias. And causal LM just means that we want to do some kind of a language model task. So um, we want to um, predict the next token in a sequence. Uh, and then uh, we are applying this config. And here we will print how much parameters are trainable. So <laughs> we are still downloading some CUDA stuff. Okay, I will cut here the video, and when it's downloaded, then I will continue. All the packages are installed. Finally, I can execute the code. So now we are importing our dependencies, and we can get the model from Hugging Face. It's about 4.16 gigabytes. Now, um, we are loading the tokenizer. Now we prepare the model. And here we see um, the model has about 264 million parameters. And the trainable parameters, so our protection weights of the transformer, um, they are um, only two millions, so uh, only 0.79% of our whole model is trainable. Um, and, and this is the magic of LoRa or QLoRa. It would take such a big amount of computation to train uh, the whole model, but we can freeze almost everything. And if we just um, train very few parameters, it still has a very big impact on the model. Now we are loading the data set. Uh, the data set are um, letters from Warren Buffett from 1977 to 2019. Um, And we filter the data set to include only the data where we have a single question and an answer pair, because this format is very convenient for our fine tuning. This is the system prompt, which we append to every message. And here I um, changed the code a little bit because uh, the original code was not working. Um, we need a special kind of format for the fine tuning. And it seems like something was still not in this format, so um, I, I added this one. So here we see which format we need for the fine tuning. It always starts with inst for instruction, then with our system prompt, which is just uh, this string, then um, our question and then the answer. So um, this whole code uh, just extract um, it that we have it in this format for the fine tuning.
now we will tokenize the data. Uh, we are padding it. And um, here are our training hyperparameters like the learning rate, batch size, number of epochs, and everything. And now let's start training. I'm curious how long it will take before um, I try to do it on the slow GPU and they, they told me like it will take multiple days. I hope with this faster GPU it will be much faster. Seems like we are using 7.3 gigabytes of the GPU memory, which is not so much. Maybe, I will wait a little bit, but maybe uh, I can stop it and increase the batch size. I uh, increased the batch size to 16. Um, 12.7 uh, gigabyte of GPU memory we are using. Um, so it will take, I don't know, six hours. Um, so I will wait and in six hours I will continue recording this video. Now we are done with training. In the end I just trained four epochs because very often after five or six epochs, um, the Google Colab stopped. I think I need some kind of pro or plus account um, that I can train more long. So we trained four epochs and um, the training loss was sinking, uh, the validation loss a little bit. Uh, I think it would be better if we train it more long. Uh, after that, um, we are pushing the model to the Hugging Face Model Hub. So here I put my write key inside uh, and logged in. And um, then I pushed um, the model to yeah my name, Janus Fengler, and the name is Buffett GPT minus fine tuning. And um, yeah, we, we, we uploaded it. And now we try to uh, download it and ask it a question. And um, here I will run this again. We have our prompt template and the question is, uh, what was operating earnings a year ago? And now um, let's run evil, eval. And Buffett GPT says operating earnings a year ago were one dollar. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please uh, subscribe and like. And uh, I hope that I can do more kind of the stuff and similar videos.